Got a power box on the wall that got pulled off over here. And that pole right there got pulled over by that tree falling down. All right, thank y'all. Another leaning power pole. That's that wire that got broke that goes down to that one. Pull it over. Still got the wires hanging up in the tree. They'll be down here working on this. He's gonna be coming out this way. He don't know the road's blocked. All right. Well, over here it looks pretty clear. Looks like they've been out here working, getting some of these stuff out of his yard and stuff. These houses don't look like they lost trees or nothing. <clears throat> backside of Abbeville Mill, if anybody ever wants to see the backside of it, there it is. All right, thank y'all. All right, I'm walking down South Main Street. It looks pretty clear. It's got some limbs laying around. None, the road's already cleared out. No big trees or nothing like that. I guess that got blowed over. I'm going down here to that house we looked at where the lake was in the street. Because uh, there's two trees in the front yard and I couldn't see them from the backyard that well. So I'm going down here to get those. All right, thank you. A lot of limbs on the sidewalks and stuff. Sounds like somebody's running a generator down here. Probably a friend of mine. I'll get more in a little bit. Trees out in the road down here, South Main Street. You can also see the dirt in the road where all this was flooded. The water came across the top of that bridge down there. So they have a little pond or a little bit of lake in the middle of the road. All right, thank y'all. All right, we got a ground wire pulled across the street coming off of that pole. But that tree fell on a friend of mine's house. And that tree's the one that's blocking the road that's over that way. But boy, it made a mess of them. Mother Nature cleaning up old trees. All right, he said the water's about 10 inches tall at his porch. And it didn't go in the church, but it's all the way in that parking lot. But there's a bridge right there. And that's where the water come out of the creek because the creek was flooded. All right, we've got more trees down over here and a bunch of wind damage and stuff. See what I can find out about down here. I don't know if I can get by down here. That tree's in my way. All right, thank y'all. Bunch of trees leaning and falling. The road is blocked. I'm going to have to get around another way. All right, thank you. Northbound signal still dark. Northbound Abbeville. All right, thank you. See that big old root ball? From a big old tree, you had two trees fall here. There's a trunk and there's a root ball. Do you look at those root balls? They don't go far down in this red clay. It ain't like what you see in science books where you got half of the tree is underground, the root structure branching out. Around here in this red clay, these roots don't go that deep. So that's probably why these trees are easy to fall down. All right, thank you. Got a power line on the ground. That might be for street lights or something. One tree fell on the road from the left. Another tree fell. Some more up there fell. They took down phone lines and stuff when they fell. They also broke some power lines.
So the industry's blocked off. I don't think I can get around these. That means I gotta go all the way up back of the hill, go over to the next street and come down. That's the railroad trestle down there. Alright, didn't hit those up there. That's three major lines coming out. There's one that goes down that street over there. And he got a tree fell down that way, so that took out some of that. All right, I'm going to walk up around. All right, thank y'all. All these limbs out in the parking lot by the bank. So we got more wind up here. Blowing things around. Didn't do too much in the square. Just blowed a bunch of leaves and stuff. These trees look good. We got a big tree down there. I'm going to go down there and film it. Right, the Hogs and Hen Festival is coming up. Y'all come watch that. There's barbecue and music. And that's at the Opera House at the top. Ernie Haas and Signature Sound, September 28th. Welcome to Abbeville, y'all. All right, thank you. All right, we got a tree fell down there. Got blowed down. We got this big one over here. Plus a power pole came down with it. But you look at these trees, they don't have no big root structure on them. I don't know if they can't penetrate that red clay or what. Hey, that's young man! You, you gonna pick that up? What, me? Yeah, big tree right there that fell down. I didn't know it, I thought it was just shrubby, but I'm looking at the branches all going the wrong way. Alright, thank y'all. Got a wall over there, a fence blowing down. This is all the Catholic Church. And I lost some trees and fences around here. Got some leaning on one of the buildings. Look, it's all clear around here. I don't see any trees down anywhere. Presbyterian Church, Methodist Church over there, I think. Main Street Methodist Church, yeah, funeral home. God ain't bothering none of these with that hurricane. All the trees are still up and everything. All right, I'll get more. Sign that fell down. We can celebrate that because South Carolina was a British colony until the American Revolution. All right, thank you. All right. That's a famous house in Abbeville, Abbeville County Historical Society. That's a McGowan Marshall Bundy House, Franklin and Ann Persley Railroad Museum. Franklin Persley was a big shot with the railroad. All right, thank you. All right, that's the Burt Stark Mansion. That's where the last cabinet meeting of the Confederacy was held before they disbanded the Confederacy. Jefferson Davis and all his cabinet members were there. They rode down from Richmond, Virginia. They came here on the railroad. It's as far south as you could get by railroad. You had the Southern Railroad that went down, that went to Atlanta, but Atlanta was under control from Sherman's March. So they walked down there. They were captured in Florida, down in the Southern part of Florida. Jefferson Davis was, but. Anyway, that's Abbeville history. The war was started here and the war ended here. All right, thank y'all. I'm walking out North Main Street. You got some limbs down in this yard, a bunch of leaves and stuff on the sidewalk. You got some limbs up there on that sidewalk. Now not look like too much happened around here. But they tell me on up the road about four trees laying across Main Street. I'm going to go check that out. All right, thank you.